Number 10. Death by Lizard One of the most bizarre and terrifying cases of a human being getting killed and eaten by their pets happened in 2002. 42-year-old Ronald Huff was what you would call a huge lizard enthusiast. He had several of the creatures that he let roam free around his Delaware apartment and do as they pleased. Jeff Wildonger, Huff's neighbor, stated that the man even raised cockroaches that grew to be at least two or three inches or about five to seven and a half centimeters long just to feed them to the lizards. Huff would throw the insects on the ground and watch as the reptiles chased after them to chow down. Wildonger recalled that, quote, it was like going to the zoo. Before Huff passed away, he was reportedly bitten by one of the lizards and developed a staph infection from the wound site. He was said to have kept his apartment at 80 degrees or about 26.6 degrees Celsius, which was the preferred temperature to keep his scaled friends comfortable. Before he died, he would have suffered from high fevers, so the only place he could have cooled off would have been by the front door where his body was eventually found. When Huff was discovered, the lizards had already eaten away at the flesh all around his hands, face, and abdomen. It sounds like something straight out of a horror movie, and it really makes you think twice before going to the pet store and purchasing one of these creatures as a pet. Number 9. Killer Hug In Church Crookham, Hampshire, in August of 2018, a man obsessed with snakes was asphyxiated by his beloved 8-foot or just about 2.5 meter python that he lovingly and ironically named Tiny. Dan Brandon, who was 31 years old at the time, had always loved animals, and he kept about 10 snakes in the home he shared with his parents, Derek and Babs Brandon. His yellow African rock python, Tiny, was one of his best friends, and he had raised her, quote, since she was small enough to fit in his hand. Unfortunately, the relationship he shared with this reptile would ultimately lead to his death. One night, Derek and Babs had called Dan down for dinner, but when he failed to respond or come downstairs to eat, they knew something was wrong. When they went up to his room to check on him, they found him lying face down on the floor. When they tried to wake him up, he was unresponsive, so they called authorities. When paramedics came to their home, they tried to revive him, but sadly, it was too late. Tiny was nowhere to be found at first glance, but she was eventually found coiled up underneath a box. It was determined that the snake had accidentally given Dan too tight of a hug, which led to the man's untimely death. Dan's parents do not believe that Tiny acted out aggressively or that she had any intention to kill her owner. There were no bite marks on the man's body to give investigators the impression that she had meant to harm Dan, and she was most likely just trying to show him some affection. As a way to keep Dan's memory alive, his parents decided to keep the snakes. They still care for these reptiles to this day. Number 8. Humphrey the Hippo A man that claimed to have tamed a hippo himself was later killed by the very creature he had once said was like a son to him. This man was named Marius Ells, and he lived as a farmer in a rural region of South Africa. He had a variety of wild and exotic creatures who lived alongside him on his 400-acre or about 162 hectares farm near the city of Klerksdorp. He kept about 20 species of animals, which included rhinos, giraffes, and, of course, his 2,646-pound, or just about 1,200-kilogram, bull hippo named Humphrey that he loved more than anything. Els had developed a special bond with the hippo, and the creature even allowed him to ride on his back. Even though Els had claimed he had tamed Humphrey, he still recognized how powerful and dangerous the creature could be. Unfortunately, in 2011, Els' dead body was found, and the culprit was believed to be his beloved hippo. Humphrey had apparently attacked Els while they were in the Val River and repeatedly bit him, until he succumbed to his injuries. His mutilated remains were eventually discovered partly submerged in the water, and authorities declared him dead at the scene. Number 7. Exotic Bird Murderer A 75-year-old exotic bird breeder was killed by one of his large cassowary birds near Gainesville, Florida on his property back in 2019. Usually, a permit is required in order to handle these exotic birds that are normally only found in New Guinea or Australia. But the Florida Fish and Wildlife Conservation Commission found that the man, Marvin Hajos, did not have the permit he needed. These large birds are similar to emus and can grow up to 5 or 6 feet tall or just about 1.5 to 1.8 meters and weigh upwards of 130 pounds or just shy of 60 kilograms. Cassowaries also have three-toed feet, each armed with razor-sharp claws that can grow to nearly 5 5 inches in length or just about 13 centimeters, and they are perfect for ripping apart anything that stands against them. Mr. Hajos had supposedly been working with these animals for quite some time, about 65 years to be exact, so his family and friends were extremely surprised to discover the nature of his death. 
Male cassowaries are known to smash their newly laid eggs, so it is believed that while trying to retrieve one of these eggs, Mr. Hahos was attacked by a bird with its deadly claws. It is said that immediately after the incident, Mr. Hahos called his daughter to come help him, but unfortunately, he did not survive through his injuries. Number 6. Ungrateful Bear A brown bear that a Russian hunter kept as a pet after rescuing it while it was just a cub brutally mauled the man to death in 2018. Sergei Grigoriev was 41 years old when his body was found by police at his home after relatives reporting it missing. He kept the bear named Grumbler or Vorshon on his property for about four years before the attack went down. Somehow the bear had escaped from his cage and went after Sergei, who did not stand any chance against the aggressive wild animal. Unfortunately, only the skeletal remains of Grigoriev were left behind, meaning that the bear had literally eaten the man until he was just bones, before the Ozark police arrived on the scene. When authorities finally showed up, they found the animal walking around the plot of land and it was extremely aggravated. In order to protect the other citizens in the area, the bear had to be put down. Apparently, Grigoriev decided to keep the brown bear despite pleas from his family to get rid of it. For some reason, people continue to try and tame wild animals and keep them as pets. And as a result, attacks like this one are becoming more common and frequent in the news cycles. Would you rather work in a zoo or live next door to someone that owned lions? Let us know in the comments and don't forget to subscribe. Number 5. Venom A French amateur herpetologist and entomologist was found dead in his Dortmund, Germany apartment after he apparently had been trying to build up a tolerance to his pet black widow spider's venom. In 2004, 30-year-old Mark Vogel had a bit of a jungle in his home which held over 200 spiders, thousands of termites, several snakes, and even a gecko. He had a black widow spider which he lovingly named Bettina and had been trying to build up a tolerance to its venom, which ultimately led to his untimely death. It was reported that after getting bitten by the spider, he suffered a fatal heart attack. When he fell to the ground, he also accidentally knocked over his reptile tank and let all of the animals loose into his apartment. His remains were found after his neighbors recognized a foul smell coming from his home, but never let anyone inside, so police were called to investigate the scene. Officers were not prepared for the gruesome sight they found, which they described like a horror movie. Vogel's corpse was found strewn over the sofa and was completely covered in spider webs, with insects crawling all over him. Without getting into too much detail, it was also discovered that his other pets had been eating away at his flesh as he lay dead for who knows how long before being found. Number 4. Hump Day an owner of a camel was surprisingly killed by the animal when it tried to mate with the woman back in 2007. The camel was only 10 months old and weighed a whopping 331 pounds or just about 150 kilograms when it knocked its owner, Pam Weaver, down to the ground. Supposedly, the animal had a long history of erratic behavior and would often try to straddle members of other species, one of which was the family pet goat. Miss Weaver had always had a love for exotic creatures, but she never would have guessed one would be the cause of her death. The camel was given to the woman by her husband Noel as a 60th birthday present, and Mrs. Weaver was ecstatic about the gift. The tragedy took place at the family sheep and cattle ranch, located about 350 miles or just about 600 kilometers west of Brisbane, Australia. Oddly enough, the camel expert Chris Hill stated that he had no doubt its behavior was sexual. After the incident, the camel was found wandering loose on the property, but it is unknown what happened to it after it killed Pam. Number 3. Big Cat Danger In 2019, the body of a man from the Czech town of Zdechov was found by his father after getting killed by his pet lion. 34-year-old Michael Prosik supposedly had lions for breeding purposes, but it was discovered that he did not have any of the proper permits to have the big cats. He was in possession of a 9-year-old lion as well as a lioness which was kept in separate cages from the male. Apparently, on that fateful day, Prasik had entered the lion's cage with the creature and the door had somehow become locked from the inside. Owning these predators had gotten the men into trouble in the past, and neighbors often reported Michael's activities to the authorities. The local mayor, Thomas Korkarek, even said that he would regularly walk the lines around the area on a leash which scared many residents in town. But Prosik wouldn't allow officers onto his property, so he was never forced to get rid of the animals. After all, owning the lions was not illegal, and there was never any evidence that the man was abusing them. Sadly, after being locked in the cage with a deadly cat, Prasik was attacked and killed. His father found the body and called police. When they got there, both of the animals were shot because, quote, it was deemed absolutely necessary for them to get to the man, according to the BBC News. Number 2. 
Go Bananas. A boy and his father were attacked by their pet monkey in Malaysia back in June of 2019. 72-year-old Naga Muhammad and his 29-year-old son Maud Zakaria Naga had been trying to train their pet monkey to climb the coconut tree in the backyard with little to no success. One day Muhammad was alone and trying to get the animal to fetch him some coconuts when the ape suddenly went bananas. It attacked him and severed an artery in his wrist. When Maud realized he could no longer hear the sound of his father or the monkey playing, he went looking for them. He found Muhammad unconscious lying on the ground but did not understand that the monkey was the attacker. When he tried to help his father, the monkey went after him too. The monkey bit Maud on the neck and his screams alerted nearby neighbors who came to his rescue and drove the ape off. Unfortunately, Muhammad passed away from his injuries and the excessive blood loss, but Maud survived. When questioned by authorities after the incident, Maud said that they had purchased the monkey when it was still young in hopes of training it, but the animal refused to cooperate and in the end proved to be deadly. After the attack, the country's Department of Wildlife and National Parks tranquilized and captured the monkey, but it's unclear what happened to the animal after that. Number 1. Horse Kick Bob Hunt had made a name for himself as a successful pipe fitter, but his side passion for horse pulling and draft horses would ultimately end his life in 2008. In Byron Township, Michigan, the 63-year-old man Hunt was grooming one of his horses to get it ready for an upcoming pulling contest that week when he was tragically kicked in the head by the large animal. He was knocked to the ground and instantly lost consciousness. His son Robert rushed to his side and gave him medical attention until emergency crews got there. They took him to Spectrum Health Butterworth Hospital, but sadly, he was pronounced dead just 10 hours after the incident. Hunt spent most of his life around horses and his death was labeled an unfortunate freak accident. Sometimes horses kick if they get spooked by something, but the events leading up to the fatal blow are not entirely known. Thanks for watching. Would you ever consider owning a wild or exotic animal yourself? Let us know in the comments below and if you haven't already, hit that subscribe button. We'll see you next time on the Bad Badger.